I'm the world record holder in chewing gum. I'm not afraid of anything. What's happening to her nose? Turning blue. Your whole nose has gone purple. What do you mean? Violet, you're turning violet. <laughs> What's up guys? Today's video is on Violet Beauregard from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. This look was of course inspired by the viral post on Twitter from the makeup artist Elle and I've linked her down below so you guys can check out her look. She did an amazing job. She also has a YouTube video on this as well which I didn't know until I had already started filming this look. But I've linked that down below so you guys can check her out. I was cutting this wig and I got some paint in it and I couldn't get it out so that's just gonna stay there. And I was chewing gum and I'm just awkwardly holding it down here, FYI. And I'm really excited about this video. Thank you guys so much for all the love on the first two Ash Fest videos. I was not expecting that because last year was horrible. <laughs> and I just wanted to say thank you guys because I've never received so many comments and likes and just like you guys tweeting at me saying how much you guys like it. So thank you so much. I also wanted to give you guys a quick update on Ash Fest merch. I have started shipping everything. Um, I've been posting everything on my Instagram stories of me and Jace holding everything. It literally looks like a hot topic in my house right now. There is a little bit of a holdup because my enamel pins haven't been delivered yet. They're also coming from the same manufacturer that's making the keychain bottle openers and they are behind on my order. And I've contacted them several times in the past couple of weeks leading up to what I wanted to be shipping out this week and they knew my deadline and they're still just a little bit behind. So instead of rushing them through anything and having potential mistakes on anything, I'm just gonna go out of my own pocket and I'm gonna ship those items later to not hold you guys up. So if you ordered the vault or if you just ordered the keychain or the pins, those will be coming in a week or two. So when you get your package in the mail, if you notice that those are missing, that's why. I'm gonna send out an email and I'm also gonna put a note in every package that had a pin or a keychain, but I just wanted to let you guys know here as well. That has been kind of the holdup because I was waiting thinking like, oh, maybe they'll get here this day and they did it. So if you placed a pre-order, that will be shipped between today, which is Friday, and Monday, Tuesday of next week. I have Jess coming over to help me, so she'll be helping me package all of your orders again like she did last time. She is the sweetest angel. I also restocked everything on the website earlier this week, so if you'd like to order something, you can, and now is your chance. I've linked it down below. Sorry for the long intro, but I really wanted to clear up some of those things. Also wanted to let you know in the beginning of this video, if you want to enter the giveaway for this one, just leave a comment on my Instagram photo of Violet and I'm gonna be choosing winners at the end of each week. So every video that I post, there's going to be a giveaway and I'm just gonna have you guys comment on the Instagram photo that matches with that look. So you can enter every other day. I'll be choosing the winners once a week. I feel like that will be the easiest way to ship things out. So I'll be making one run to the post office a week to ship out the giveaways and yeah, I think that's all I need to say in this intro. Don't forget to check out my merch shop if you haven't already. Don't forget to go like this picture and leave a comment on Instagram to enter the giveaway. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter while you're at it. And let's go ahead and get into this look. All right guys, so I've already primed my eyelids and done my eyebrows because I thought it would save a little bit of time. I'm just gonna start off by going in with the Desi and Katie Dose of Colors collection. This is their new palette. This is called the Frenication Palette. And I don't even know what shades I'm going to use yet. I know I'm going to use this because it's blue and purple, which I think will be really pretty. Maybe a little bit of this and some browns. I'm also going to mix in my Sephora Pro Palette if I can find it laying around here somewhere. <laughs> Looks like my Sephora Pro Palette is gone. So I'm going to use the BH Take Me Back to Brazil Palette. And I'm just going to be using, whoopsie. I'm going to be using this purple, this blue, this purple up here, and we'll see what happens. Starting off with the shade Necessary from the Frenkation palette, I am just going to put this in my crease. Please ignore all the lash glue on my eyelashes. I don't know what's going on there. Alright, I'm taking that purple from the Take Me to Brazil palette, and 
just gonna pack it on, I think, the outer corner. Let's see where this takes me. I guess I'm gonna slowly blend this into the crease and kind of up to the brow bone. I'm just gonna go in a little bit heavier with the purple to deepen it up. I'm just tapping this on and kind of blending out. I guess I completely covered up that shade I put down first, but that's fine. This is like the prettiest purple color. Anybody new to my channel might not know this, but if you've been here for a while, you know that I used to hate purple eyeshadow, like hate it. And because of Jay Kissa, she made me use purple eyeshadow one time and I was like, oh, I don't hate this. And now I like purple eyeshadow, so thank her. I don't know what she did, some witchcraft on me. All right, taking a tiny pencil brush in that blue shade from the palette, I'm going to kind of blend this. That's not showing up at all. I was gonna blend it into the crease, but that's like barely showing up. So scratch that, we'll go cover that with the purple. I'm gonna take the shade A Moment, which is the blue purple. It doesn't show up purple on camera, but in person it is so purple. I hope I can get a video. I took a really good photo with this on at Jess's house when we were getting ready for the Dose of Colors party and it looked so pretty in her lights in purple. I'm just going to kind of pack this on the center of my lid up to my crease. Just like that. All right, I found some missing makeup. It was literally on the floor next to me. I'm gonna use the Pat McGrath palette. This is the Subversive 3, I think. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this pink shade here. You could just use like a highlighty pink shade if you have something like it. And I'm kind of going to mix the two in the center. I'm gonna take it on a little brush just to make sure it gets up in the crease. All right, I'm gonna come back to my eyes later. I actually am gonna be wearing foundation today, so I'm gonna go in with my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer and just prime everything. I am gonna be using some paints that will stain, like 100% are going to stain my nose for at least a day. I haven't worn foundation in so long, I couldn't even find one. That I wanted to use. I'm gonna use my old, what is this? Fair Sand Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. Wow, friend, it has been a while. So I'm gonna focus this on my nose and kind of blend it out because the nose is where I'm gonna be putting the most pigment and I know that it's going to stain and I really want some coverage there. For concealer, I'm going to be using my Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. This is in the shade Fair Warm. And I'm actually just going to be putting this under my eyes and a little on my chin. I'm also going to use this to kind of shape my eyeshadow. And then I'm just going to set under my eyes. Going back into my eyes, I'm actually gonna zoom you guys in. Okay, that was really not dramatic at all. I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay 24-7 liner in the shade Alkaline. And this is hard for me to do without looking. I am going to line my waterline. All right, going back in with this purple shade from the Take Me Back to Brazil palette, I'm just gonna be packing this on under the lower lash line and I'm actually going to take it all the way to the front. Next I'm actually going to take some of Sugar Pills 2AM shade. This is a pinky purple and I'm kind of going to just tap this over the edge and I guess blend it out a little 
and then this side of the brush doesn't have anything on it. I'm kind of gonna blend and see what we get. That's not pink enough. I'm gonna go into the Taking Back to Brazil and which pink am I gonna use? I'm gonna use this one here. And I'm just gonna dip in a tiny bit and kind of press this on the edge of that purple just to give this a little bit more of a pink hue than blue because I'm gonna have a very blue nose going on. So I want this to be very pinky purple. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm also just gonna dip a little bit in and blend. I know the original didn't have too crazy of an eye makeup look, but the fun thing with this is that you can literally do whatever you want because in the movie, Violet's not even wearing any makeup on her eyes. She's like five years old or something. So you can do whatever you want. And this is just what I decided I wanted to do. All right, I'm gonna start on the face and then come back to the nose and I'm gonna go ahead and contour. So I'm just taking a cool toned contour and I'm gonna go ahead and carve a little bit out on my cheeks. I'm gonna zoom you guys back out so you can see a little bit better. So I'm just blending a little bit out. I am having some serious, well not serious, but some little breakouts all over right now because of my period, so please excuse them. I was gonna contour up my forehead, but I'm gonna be wearing a wig, so never mind. There's also no need to contour your nose because you're gonna cover it. Now I have like jewelry in. We're gonna see what happens. Basically, I'm gonna be taking my Makeup Forever Flash Palette. You can buy this from Makeup Forever. They're very expensive in my opinion. Although you can do a lot of things with this. Whatever, whatever. You can also buy a cheap version of this. I believe it's called Magic or something. Eye Magic. It's like $10, so um, there's a few different options of these. This is the color one. I'm gonna be mixing blue and pink, but mostly blue. And I just realized that I don't have my spatula out here, so I'm using the back of a makeup brush to mix this really quick. I'm just gonna wipe my brush off here with a makeup wipe. I actually got a lot of questions about these makeup wipes I've been using. I did a post about them, but um, they are the Yes To Tomatoes charcoal wipes. I really like them. Some people say they burn their face. I haven't experienced that. So I'm starting off, sorry if this is gonna blind you guys. I'm starting off with like this much blue and this much pink. I'm gonna mix and see what happens. And I'll try to show you guys. I think I want a little more pink in here. Once you get it how you want it, you can start painting it on. This is the part that is gonna stain. So underneath this is gonna be bright pink when you take it off, unless you have like a really good base down, which is what I tried to do. And you're basically gonna cover the entire nose pretty much up to here. I hate painting my nose because then when I'm washing my face, it's like stuck up my nose forever. Entire Wonka factory. Ladies and gentlemen, the chocolate. Now with the edge of my brush, once I have that packed on, I'm kind of gonna go around and just tap. This will kind of start blending it out a little bit. All right, I'm gonna take a brand new beauty blender that I'm gonna stain. And I'm just going to tap around this edge. And actually, I think I'm going to start with my brow first and see how this goes. We're off to a great start. <laughs> uh, this is really hard to kind of show you guys. But I'm basically just going to tap around. I might need to bring up more product. Have this blended out a little bit up to her brows. And then this purple up here kind of comes out. So you might want to look at a reference picture of Violet from the movie while you're doing this. So this edge is pretty much all blurred out. And it is going to pick up around here, but you can always fill that back in. You really want this to be like pretty light because when we go back and add like the little veins that she has coming out of her face, you'll be able to see them a lot easier. I'm gonna go in with a blending brush and kind of try and even this out a little bit. 
And I'm just gonna paint a little bit more of this on so I don't lose all that color that I packed on earlier. And then I'm gonna take this and kind of dab around the edges of that. And just go back and forth until I get it right, I guess. I'm actually gonna be taking my Stargazer pigment because this is what Elle used in hers, and this is just the blue one. I believe it's number 204. I don't know if that's the one she used or not. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and set it. That's actually pretty blue. I was going to set it, but now I'm thinking that was a little bit too blue, so now I'm just not gonna set it and I'm gonna leave it like that. Do you guys like these tutorials where I'm like, I'm gonna do this, and then I'm like, actually, that doesn't look good, I'm not gonna do that. Because whenever I film a tutorial, I usually haven't done the look before. Fun fact. I also really enjoy doing looks for the first time on camera because then you guys see kind of the creative process as well as any time that I might mess up. I feel like it's easier for you guys to follow along and see that like, you know, I make mistakes and if you make a mistake, it's okay because I know it's really frustrating when you're doing something and you feel like it's not showing up how you want, but all it takes is practice and time, even for me. Now I'm gonna take my Smith 202 brush and I'm going to attempt these little veins and I'm just taking the blue shade, but I'm just gonna... This is going to be such an exciting day. I don't even know how to explain to you guys what I'm doing, but I'm just drawing kind of like a line and I'm going very, very slow and then I'm just going to draw little lines off of it like a vein. That doesn't even look like a vein, but from far away it kind of works, doesn't it? I don't know what to do about that one. Oh, well, I'm too crazy there. I'm just taking a brush with nothing on it and I'm just going to tap over those to kind of hopefully diffuse them a little bit. I think just kind of tapping the brush along gets a better result instead of doing a line because when I just did a straight line that's what I got but when I'm just kind of like tapping and trying to draw a vein I got a better result that looked more true to the movie and just adding some little like dots here and there. All right, now for the fun part, I'm going to highlight. So I have three different glow kits here. I have the Anastasia Dream glow kit, I have the Moonchild glow kit, and the Aurora glow kit. All of these have purples and pinks in them. This one is mostly pinks, the Dream. Moonchild was probably my favorite palette from them and it's like almost pan on all of them. I'm probably going to use Blue Moon no, I'm gonna use blue ice and maybe purple horseshoe, possibly also pink heart. And Aurora, I actually don't think I'm going to use. So never mind on her. All right, I'm taking pink heart and I'm gonna put this under my brow bone. I'm also gonna take it on my finger and do it on the inner corner. I should have added blush before I even did any of this. What am I doing? I'm gonna carefully try and add some blush to my cheeks. Kind of like a light pink. And just like tap into that blue a little bit. There we go. That worked perfectly. And I'm gonna take some of this blue eye shade and I'm gonna highlight above my brow. This shade is so pretty, I forgot how much I love it. This will kind of just emphasize that blue up here. I'm going to highlight my nose with it. Ladies and gentlemen, the chocolate wings. And I'm also gonna highlight my cheeks. I hope you're enjoying it. I think you will. These lights show my highlight a lot better than my old lights. For mascara, I'm going to use my Kush mascara. Alright, to save some time, I'm going to go ahead and apply my eyelashes off camera. I'll be right back to finish up this look. Alright, so lashes are on. These are the Time Los Angeles Introvert Lashes. 
I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off my lip mask here. For lips, I'm gonna use Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade Dusty Rose. And I think I just want to kind of blur this. This is kind of my lip shade, but better. So basically, I'm just gonna tap this around. So this is gonna be it for the makeup. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw on my wig and grab some bubble gum and I'll be right back. I've been trying to chew the sugar out of this gum so that I could blow a bubble for 30 minutes, it feels like. I also, I'm sorry about chewing gum right now. I can't hide it. I'm gonna be chewing gum. I just trimmed this wig and I got paint in it and I tried to get it out so it's wet over here. We're struggling today. <laughs> Tonight actually, it's like 10 p.m. I got this wig off Amazon. This is another Amazon find. I think it works perfect for this look. I know her hair is like more of a natural blonde and this is like a platinum blonde, but I wanted to show you guys this wig because a lot of blonde wigs, is this more paint in the hair? <laughs> I need to go to bed. A lot of blonde wigs that you get online, they look really pretty in the pictures, but then when you get them, they're very yellow. This one is very platinum and pretty. It's not that really like harsh yellow tone. So I just want to show it to you guys. I will link it down below. My bubble gum is this. I don't even know what this is. Violet chews a lot of bubble gum in the movie. She blows bubbles. And I have to film me doing bubbles, so that's why I'm doing this. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to go check out Elle. I linked her down below. She's the one who did this look first. And all credit goes to her. I just wanted to have this on my channel because I feel like it's going to be a popular Halloween costume. And I wanted to show you guys how I would have done the look. I also think it's a very interchangeable thing. Like, obviously the blue here has to be there. But the eye look, you can do so many different things. So you can really have some fun with it. And I love the way that this one turned out. I'm having so much fun with Ashtoberfest this year. Doing all looks that I really, really want to do. And some looks that you guys really want me to do as well. And thank you guys so much for all the love on my first two videos. I'm so excited for you guys to see the rest. Don't forget that if you want to enter the giveaway for this video to comment on my Instagram photo of Violet. Check out my merch store. I link it down below. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.